All right, guys, come and have a look at the state of this. So I come out to leave for work the other morning, and my rear light lens is missing. So it looks like the glues around the edges just sort of separated, and I've lost the actual lens. So well, it wasn't like lying on the ground here at home. It wasn't lying on the ground at work. So I've had to order a new one. So I ended up buying a brand new, genuine BMW one. So I didn't go with aftermarket because uh, I've had them before and uh, the old E30s and that and I found they just leaked, they let water into the lenses so I just went genuine BMW this time. And I've got a couple of new indicator balls to go in as well because the old ones, the paint's sort of failing and coming apart on them so we'll chuck them in. A couple of 10mm ratchets, let's get into it. Now I've got three nuts to remove around the back here to remove the cluster. Go for the awkward one first though. Now I did have this happen on my left hand rear cluster a while ago when I first bought the car which was about 89 years ago but it had fallen off in my driveway so I was able to retrieve the lens and refix it Now look this time I must have lost it on the way to work or away from work and the other one's held up ever since which is good I think the factory glue just must come dry and release itself over the years, drop off. It sits in the harsh New Zealand sun here, so probably doesn't do it any favours. Okay, here we go. Bit of persuasion, it's been sitting there for quite some time. Removed. She's pretty grubby around there, so I'll get some quick detailer, give that a clean up before we put the new one in, so we'll get a nice seal. I'll just tidy up them sealing surfaces. Nice tight, watertight seal. Well, it looks like we're going to have to transfer this seal from around the edge onto the new one. We'll do the same with that, we'll clean it up like we did the opening on the car. Okay, I managed to get that off in one piece, luckily. So we'll give it a clean up, we'll click it on the new lens, put it back in the car. Alright, the old seal didn't clean up too badly. Got to click back on the cluster there. So I'll chuck it back on the car. So in hindsight, what I should have done is order a new one of them seals. It's on the edge of the lens there. I hadn't realised the new one didn't come with one. Hey, this is what it's like when you're messing around in your driveway here and you're working on your daily driver. You just want to get it back together. Gonna to use it next week to get to work. Get the old one cleaned up alright. If it does present any issues, we can always replace it later on. At least we're not driving around in a ghetto looking E46, one of these thousand dollar things you pick up on Trade Me, eBay. Wanted attention from the cops now either. Bothering me on the way to work. And we'll install our new indicator bulb. Get the old one. We can be quite particular about that here in New Zealand when it's our time for our annual WAF, Warren of Fitness, annual inspection. Done. All right, guys, that's that job sorted. Now, close inspection, the new one does look slightly clearer than the old one. There's not much in it, though. Hardly noticeable. I do find with the E46s, it's these inner ones that fade out and start to crack with the sun with the UV damage pretty early on. I, I did change them out not that long ago, though, so that's looking a lot better now, anyway. Okay, if you're enjoying the videos, don't forget to like and subscribe. I'm MTIT Guy. Thanks for watching.